During the end of 2018, Huion reached out to me to do a collaboration video featuring one of their display tablet products. Will the Huion tablet be a great alternative to the dominating Wacom? Here are my thoughts on the Canvas Pro 20. Now for those who don't know what a Huion is, it is a graphics tablet company based in Shenzhen, China. However, the company has grown drastically since 2000, being regarded as a key player in the graphics and display tablet market. I personally know of the brand through my sister Tintin Pantoja, who switched from the Wacom to the Huion because of its flexible support and accessibility in the Philippines. Ever since I've heard of Huion, more people have been using their products over the Wacom, coming from Asia, Europe, and especially America. Why? Well, aside from having more access to Asian territories, it's also affordable as hell. Now, I've never really made any hardware review and impressions video yet, since I've never had the opportunity to do those. However, I will try to be as clear, as critical, and informative about the product. So let's get something out of the way. The way I'll be approaching this sort of impressions and review video is that I'm going to relate to the type of work that I do. The type of work that I do is, of course, animation and video production. However, I do paint digitally and utilize colors a lot, so that is something that I'll definitely talk about too. Unboxing and features. Right off the bat, we get a minimalistic box, which on the side states its specs. Now, there's a lot more detailed specs, but I'll be talking about the big ones that strike out to me the most. Screen size is 19.53 inches with an IPS LCD. Resolution is a standard HD, so that's 1920 by 1080. Gamut is 100% for standard RGB. Pen pressure says it's about to be 8192 levels with a sensing height of 10 millimeters. All of them sound pretty decent to me, although I never was crazy about pressure levels since I wasn't always conscious about the pressure of my pen during my line work. But maybe it means more to you than it does to me since I just think of, if it reads pressure, it's good in my books. Alright, now the things we get inside the box are pretty generous. Aside from the main ones, the power adapter, the AC cable, USB cable, HDMI, digital pen, pen nibs, pen holder, and a cleaning cloth, they've also provided a VGA cable for older computers and machines. Not one, but two gloves. If this has a VGA cable, then I'm pretty sure it has a VGA outlet. Speaking of which, let's look at those sockets. We have a socket that connects to the power, a slot that connects to the USB, an HDMI port, and a VGA outlet, and a display port socket. Nice! It's good that they do include a VGA port along with the cables because there are a lot of people who still use older computers and machines, so it's good that Huion doesn't alienate them. Now the reason why I'm such a stickler for the VGA port is because when I purchased my Wacom 22 HD back in 2012, I was so excited to hook it up to my laptop at that time, but guess what? My laptop only had VGA and HDMI, and the Wacom that I got only had DVI and didn't support HDMI. What a joke. And to switch that Wacom from a DVI to a VGA cable is that you'd have to open up the damn thing and change those wirings yourself. So Huion gets two thumbs up for providing both a VGA and an HDMI cable. Presentation. After recently building and finishing a new PC and attaching the canvas to it, it's time to give it a more in-depth look. First of all, I love how this tablet looks. Instead of looking bulky, it opts out for a leaner look where the drawing size is huge. It has a nice matte finish overall, giving it that nice smooth look but not too glossy. After prepping it up, I can say that it's easy, compact, and lean. And it's also pretty light, making it easy to move around if you need to. Let's talk about its stand, which you can use to adjust the angle of your tablet. This has a 60 degree range. I'm gonna say it, but I'm gonna prefer something like this now over what Wacom offers. The stand I'm using for my Cintiq 22 HD is so bulky to this. The stand that the Canvas Pro provides is so simple to understand. There's a lever you pull on the upper left side of the stand and adjust from there. Surprisingly, it's flexible, ranging from an easel feel to a more traditional drawing pad on the table. The canvas appears to have 16 hard keys on the side, but technically they are just mirrors of each other. I found this out through the settings in which you can adjust these keys. If I were to click on the shortcut keys hot listed to a key, it would open up a new window for you to set up. You can also just hit the spacebar key to access the same menu. One of my main keys is hot listed to spacebar, 
but by pressing the key, marrying that key will do the same thing. So in other words, you really only have eight press keys. I understand marrying these keys would prevent alienation from right-handed or left-handed people, but I personally think it would be nice to have an option of having 16 separate keys. You can also save presets of your hotkeys. You can export them as a text file and import them back into the settings. I'm glad they have this option. But the Wacom allows you to treat each button as an individual thing instead of a mirror. Most of my key shortcuts are on a keyboard anyways. If you're one of those people that utilize the keyboard more, then this option shouldn't really matter to you. Speaking of the keyboard, you aren't going to find a USB port or an extension on the tablet in case you want to connect your keyboard onto the tablet instead of the computer. Screen. Let's talk about the LCD screen. If you guys are concerned about having glare on your screen, fear not. Huion uses an anti-glare screen that prevents glaring from happening. So far, this is a very big plus. Now, does that mean the screen is free from criticism itself? Well, let's talk about how color and contrast is presented on the screen. Because this is something I want to point out that I noticed while using it. The colors and contrast seem a bit washed out, something that's way more noticeable when seen in different angles. If you're dealing with a lot of specific colors, this can be a huge deal because in some cases, its standard setting might make the colors feel too dull. Luckily, their menus offer contrast, brightness, uh, control, color temperature settings, and presets to remedy this. It's not really a big issue to me at all. It is something that you will notice, but the type of screen that they're using will make this sort of thing unavoidable. In other words, it's not perfect, and I think it's something that they can improve on in future releases. The model that I have doesn't allow touchscreen options, so you definitely need a mouse or a pen to navigate it. Honestly, I never was into the whole touch functionality, and I always preferred the other. Pen and drawing. Now, when it comes to the pen and drawing with a pen, most of the stuff I'll say here is a matter of preference. The pen itself is very similar to the one I use for the Wacom Cintiq 22 HD. The great thing about the pen is that it's batteryless. You don't need to power it up like the iPad pencil where you have to charge that. Instead of a rounded handle, the Huion pen is more squared, similar to a pencil with flat sides. When it comes to tablet pens or pencils in general, I personally wish there was a bit more weight to the pen because to me it feels really light and plasticky, which may give off a cheap feel. If that is the type of pens you prefer, then this pen is perfect for you. Luckily, the pen has two buttons on the handle, so if you want to right-click on those buttons, you can adjust that. The button on the pen can also be adjusted to whatever key you want. Now, I want to talk about drawing on the screen because it does feel a bit more rough, there's a bit more texture, and there's a threshold to it. At times, it feels like you're drawing on paper, but it may come off as scratchy. But over time, I think the screen or the pen smoothens out. But if you want it smooth immediately, get a moist wipe and wipe all over the screen. You should have something that's a lot more smooth, similar to an iPad or a Wacom brand. Drawing wise, you have a lot of control. You can draw soft and light, hard and heavy. It'll read it. Pressure levels aren't something I'm very precious about because I usually like to work rough and sketchy. But the amount of control the tablet gives you is already very good. There's a good read on the pressure sensitivity. Price. Like I said earlier, Huion products are known for offering quality and competent hardware. A brand new Canvas Pro 20 would normally cost 600 US dollars. For what I've seen so far and what it has to offer, this is an amazing deal. Just to give you guys a bit of scope, the Cintiq 22 HD that I normally use is going for about $1,700 on the Wacom website. If I knew about Huion products back in 2012, I would have easily gotten this as a student since it already supported my VGA laptop at the time. Recap. First of all, let me sum up the positives. The big positive, of course, for me is the value for the buck. Not only do you get a functional, stable, and an able tablet, you also get gloves, pen nibs, a VGA cable, and an HDMI cable. It's a good price for what it has to offer. It's a solid piece of hardware, feeling incredibly sturdy yet easy to lift around. Adjusting the angles is a breeze. Its sleek look and a huge screen eliminates that bulky look. As I showed earlier, the pressure sensitivity works fine if that's a huge thing for you. Drawing on it is something that I started to like over time, since the threshold makes things feel more like paper. The biggest criticism I have for this tablet is the IPS LCD monitor they are using, as it doesn't present contrast and colors in the best light. The push keys on the sides could have been better utilized instead of being simply mirrored. Maybe if Huion gave the customers more uh, customization on these buttons, it would strengthen the product. This also leads to my next point. 
maybe be able to set hotkeys depending on what software is open, like Wacom does. The pen is also a bit too weightless for me in my opinion, and may need time to get used to. Final thoughts. So how do I feel about the Huion Canvas Pro 20? Affordable, simple, solid, and easy to handle, it's a pretty decent display tablet. It's not just a nice alternative to the Wacom, I think it's a good device in general. Knowing myself and knowing how my relationship would be with this tablet, the pros can easily outweigh the cons, and those things can be worked on over. Need to see if your colors are right and tight? Have another monitor where you can drag your work onto it, dummy. No USB slot so you can use a keyboard on it? Get one of those portable additional USB slots to make room for that. I would highly recommend it to students and independent artists looking for something that's affordable yet competent, and that can serve them in the professional world as well. So those are my thoughts on the Huion Canvas Pro 20. It's affordable and works just as fine. I'm really happy and thankful to see what the guys at Huion are doing with their products. And I think it's great that they're making tablets more accessible to the masses. And I'm talking about full-scale display tablets, something that's already a norm in the American animation industry. So I hope you enjoyed this little review and impressions video. Hopefully this encourages you to support Huion or buy their products, but if not, well you know what's good for you. If you like videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Interested in learning hand-drawn animation or learning how to finish an animated shot from beginning to end? Have a look at the store where you'll find the complete introduction to 2D animation video course, tutorials, and other resources. Learn classical animation approaches, drawing, lectures, techniques, and other process videos. Visit the store through the link in the description below.